guys. <laughs> what, again? Uh, I demand a rematch, Charmy. Aw, give me a break. Everybody knows you can't beat a six-year-old at Candyland. There you guys are. Work must be pretty slow if you're out here playing board games again. Hey there, Knuckles. Wanna get pwned at Candyland? Mm, maybe later. But do you guys have a minute? I need your help. Oh, really? A new case, perhaps? Sort of. Sonic just left this morning for an awesome cross-country run. He's gonna go check out the Grand Canyon, Mount Rushmore, and all sorts of stuff. That sounds great, Nux. Yeah, but not for Amy. She's been miserable since you left, and we can't snap her out of it. Come on, cheer up, Amy. Sonic just needs room to run sometimes. He'll be back before you know it. I know. But what if he's lonely out there? Or if he gets hurt? What if he forgot to pack blankets or extra socks? I can't help worrying about him and wishing I could be there. Why did he have to leave me behind uh, again? Don't worry, Amy. He said he'd send us postcards. Please don't cry like that. It's kind of disturbing. Yep, that's a problem, all right. You guys are the noisiest, most distracting people I've ever met in my life. So I thought you could help us distract her for a while. No problem. Team Chaos is on the case. Ha! Oh my goodness, Vector. Are you all right? Never better. In fact, I'm here to cheer you up with a new baking recipe I've got. Wait a minute. You bake? <laughs> of course not. But Vanilla showed me one that you'd be great at, Amy. Come on, I'll show you. Today's recipe is frosted sugar cookies, shaped like Team Chaotix. Here are the ingredients. Two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of softened butter, one and a half cups of sugar, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Also, because we want to decorate these to look like us, we need some nice white frosting and plenty of assorted food coloring. Come on, let's hurry and preheat this thing to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, who let the bee use the stove? If you are a little younger, make sure you ask an adult to help you with the stove, okay? First, let's take the two or three quarter cups of flour and pour it into a bowl. Now, add one teaspoon of baking soda. Then mix them all together. There we go. When you're done, set this bowl of dry ingredients aside. Right over here. Now, take a second bowl to mix the wet ingredients. Start with one and a half cups of sugar. And the cup of softened butter. Two sticks are about the right amount. And now we pulverize it. Like this is gonna break my arm off. Mm. Oh. D don't hurt yourself, Charmy. I have an idea. You can also knead the dough with your hands, just like this. Just make sure you wash your hands really well before doing that, okay? We don't want bee germs in there. Cool. Oh. That was a piece of cake. Once the sugar and butter mixture is ready, we have to add the egg. Then pour out one teaspoon of vanilla extract and pour it in the bowl. And now you want to stir in the egg and vanilla, just like this. You said egg and vanilla, right? So we're beating an Eggman and Cream's mom? Charmy, that's the weirdest thing you've said all day. Sorry, not my fault. Next up, we start adding the dry ingredients from the first bowl, but only add a little bit at a time and keep stirring in between. This is the part where the ingredients turn into dough. Once the dough is all mixed up and ready, it's time to do the fun part, the shaping. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, Vector. Yeah. Let's it do our like best. Slime. If you say so, Vector. Let's start by flouring our rolling pin so the dough won't stick. Then let's flatten a big piece of dough so we can cut shapes into it. It helps to draw all your shapes before you even start. We already have ours, so I'm going to start by making an Amy Rose cookie, because she's the one we're trying to cheer up. Okay, thank you. Here, let's check our designs. We want to make the Amy-shaped one right here. Just take a butter knife 
or the back end of a spoon or something, and carefully start to cut your shape into the dough. If you mess up, just pat it out and try again. There we go, there's Amy's head. This could be interesting. Let's cut out shapes for the rest of us. This one can be Vector. How's this one? Not as good as mine's gonna be. All right, here are the cookies. Cut out to look like the six of us. That's me, the cookie with the most ninja power. And that one's Vector. <laughs> Vector, you look stupid. Shut up, me! <laughs> the cookie looked better with some green frosting. Uh, here's the charmy one. Definitely the best in the bunch. <laughs> oh, look, there's mine. Vector did a great job. There's me with my awesome dreadlocks. <laughs> and that one's me. Now that the cookies are ready, we need to put them in the oven. It's hot in there, so use a pair of oven mitts to avoid getting burned. Let's put these in carefully. Again, make sure you ask for help before using the oven. There we go. These cookies could burn easily, so let's set the timer for six minutes. We'll keep checking on the cookies the whole time to make sure they're okay. Charmy, will you get that out of my face? After almost six minutes, the cookies are ready to take out. Here's what we have so far. Let's scoop them off the cookie sheet very carefully and put them on another plate to cool off. Alright boys, these look great and they're shaped like us, so you can just eat them like this if you're on short time. But if you got a ton of free time like we do, you can spend a couple hours frosting and decorating them. Yeah! Sounds great! What do we need to do, Vector? All we need is to take some frosting and food coloring. Mix all the colors we want, and then paint up the cookies with them. You only have a bunch of cups like these to mix your frosting colors in. The easiest thing to do is to frost each cookie in just one color. Like for a Knuckles cookie, just make the whole thing red. Here's a test cookie I made of the Master Emerald. Pretty little Master Emerald, you look so pretty. You can also make really simple designs. See, look, I made a power ring. We're gonna decorate the cookies to actually look like us. Though, which can take a couple of hours. How are you doing over there, Amy? Oh, I'm doing good. I only added a few drops of red food coloring to this frosting to make pink. Let's mix it together now and start decorating. First, let's use my main color, pink, to frost most of the cookie. Plain frosting without food coloring works well for the eyes. And now for all the details. I mixed some green for my eye color. Now let's get some black on here. And for these little details, it helps to use a toothpick or a barbecue skewer. It would be way too hard with a big butter knife. There's my nose and a little smile. We can also use the black to make extra outlines. This helps you see where my hair is. I want to use it for my eyelashes too. Just frost carefully around the edges. And please remember to take your time and be patient. Detail decorating is a very time consuming job. More like an art project really. There we go. <laughs> it looks so cute, doesn't it? Come on, everyone, let's decorate the rest. Putting on some red. Making the eyes will be easier if you use a Ziploc bag with a little hole in the corner. You can squeeze out a bit of frosting at a time. I'll spread the rest with a knife. Let's draw my eyes on here. The little details take forever. But check out how awesome my helmet looks. Here's a smile for mine. And there you have it. Team Chaotix Frosted Sugar Cookies. They look awesome. Especially that one. It looks just like me. <laughs> I don't know, Vector. It still looks kind of weird. It looks perfect. Now that's a handsome piece of cookie. Am I right or am I right, yeah? My cookie looks depressed. Do I really look like that? Wow, check ours out, Knuckles. <laughs>
Yeah, high five! I can't tell which is better. I don't know, boys. I still think Amy's was the best cookie. Feel any better now, little lady? Look, look! I made a Sonic cookie, too! Uh-oh. Uh don't. Say. A word. She might burst out crying again. I really miss Sonic a lot. And I hope he comes back safely. But you know what? As soon as he does, I'm gonna make him a batch of these amazing cookies! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Thank you so much! You guys are the uh, best! Uh, of course! It's all in a day's work for... Team Chaotix!